friendos and welcome back to my channel or if it's your first time here well 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 you fell right into that trap if you are looking for a place where we give unfiltered reviews on the jeffree star cosmetics brand well then friendos you're gonna want to hit subscribe jsc is one of the top five brands that i cover here on my channel I even have a giveaway going on right now, so be sure that you listen for that secret word. So friendos, if you're ready to see everything that I got from the Cotton Candy Queen collection, well then, just stay tuned. All right, so my box just came. This is what she looks like inside. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, the quintessential Jeffrey picture that they put in every one. Did the silver frame come in? It did. Okay. Do you mind framing this and putting it on my bedside? Yes, I can wake up to Jeffrey every day. Holly walk. She only did it because I go around and I stick these pictures of Jeffrey up in discriminate places around my house. You could be opening up the fridge, looking for one of them cloths and pickles, reaching inside and just see Jeffrey's face just staring back at you. So I guess she wanted to prevent that from happening again. Okay, so here's my palette. It's the Cotton Candy Queen palette. Ooh, you guys, I love the packaging on this. Look at the back. So pretty. This is made in the US. They got Jeffrey's face on the front. So how are you going to escape him now, Polly Wong? He's here for Anver. We hold this magical color story. This definitely looks like it was inspired by Candyland. Although I'm sure we'll hear that this was all original. <laughs> so I wasn't sure exactly what we were getting here as far as textures are concerned. It looks like we're getting mattes, we're getting shimmers, and then we're getting a few shades where I see some micro glitter. So then I got some of the Magic Candy Liquid Blush and the shade Candy Petals. I can't open it. Okay, so here she is, you guys. So I purposefully did not put powder down today just so we could try this out for ourselves. So as much as I love this brand, I still try to give it a fair review. If I don't like a product, I just don't like it. We'll see. Oh my god. Oh my god. I guess I'm expecting it to be this pigmented. It's not messing up my foundation. Mistakes were made, friendos. Mistakes were made. All right, so we're going total baby doll today. So guys, I have to say I'm impressed. I used way too much just with those two little dots. The pigment was real, so I'm not complaining about that. A little bit on the nose, like a little bit of sunburn. My favorite product from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, it's the eye gloss. So I got the shades Candy Glass, Sugar Diamonds, and Hand Spun Love. All right, so let's give these guys a swatch. Oh man, this one is so effing pretty. I love these pastel purple blue lavender shades. So excited for this. That's makeup, sorry guys. <coughs> so pretty, so iridescent. See if we can build it up some. This one feels creamier than the last formulation. Very, very pretty. I'm sorry to be acting so shocked, guys, but I literally forgot what these colors were. It took a long time for them to ship out this stuff. For sugar diamonds. So pretty. Now that is pigmentation. This one is a little bit more translucent. This one right here, my gosh. So as you guys can tell, I am not disappointed so far. Let's get into our next one. And guys, the secret word of today is candy. So use it creatively in the sentence down below. This is candy glass. This one's pretty too. I see reflex of blue on top of a pink base. That one's more iridescent as well. Still very pretty. I feel like these two belong over top of eyeshadow shades. And then this one is more of a standalone. So guys, I think what we should do is wait on the swatches. We'll do a full dedicated video to the Cotton Candy Queen palette. I'll do a review and everything. Today, we're still going to try it out here on camera. I'm going to pair it though with at least one of these eye glosses. And it will just be more of a celebration of the entire collection. And then in future videos, we will start dissecting and going product by product. Okay, let's do this. All right, so let's start out with Cupcake Royalty. And for news, usually the first look that I do with a palette when I'm reviewing it isn't the most flattering or even the most creative of looks. It's basically a chance for me to try out lots of shades at one time. A palette when I'm reviewing it isn't the most flattering or even the most creative of looks. 
It's basically a chance for me to try out lots of shades at one time. So don't expect a miracle today. So the pigment is there with this one. It is not chalky. It is not patchy. With these light pastels, you have to wonder sometimes how they're going to turn out because they aren't always the easiest to formulate. Next up, let's go into Ice Cream Shop, this pretty lavender shade. You guys, I feel like JSC is the absolute master when it comes to pastel mattes. No one does it like him. I would equate most of Jeffrey's mattes to a Natasha Denona or even to a Sydney Grace eyeshadow, but I feel like he is the queen of pastel shades. So I haven't changed my brush this entire time. Let's go into Confetti Sky. This one is a very pale baby blue. Very curious to see how this performs on the eye because these very light, almost white shades can be so chalky. So let's see. What do you think, guys? I'm impressed. It's so pretty. I will use this to smoke out so many blues. Now, friendos, I think for the outer corner here, I want to go with Taste Test Me. So that's the dark purple. Very curious to see how this performs. I feel like there are a lot of risks taken in this palette because you guys know purples are not easily formulated either. They can be really patchy, really grabby. Okay, I'm going to smoke out what I just did with the Confetti Sky shade again. So now, my guys, I'm going to put down a bit of a base. And I kind of want to go in with Castle of Sprinkles. Let's see how this performs. This one could be a really dicey one. There's micro glitter in here. I want to see if this gets all over my face. Yes, it did. It did. Okay, so I'm going to spray my brush. And friendos, that's the routine around here. We normally will try out a sparkly shade one time on a dry brush. Then we spray the brush and try it again. I like to see if this will prevent fallout and also how much sparkle can be built up in a shade. Okay, did not get any fallout that time. This is so pretty. I know I just keep saying that so pretty, so pretty, but I mean, literally, it is. The shade right here is also pretty dry, so I keep doing more of a stamping motion as I apply this. The cake cup is some kind of real. The little embossment is almost gone. So then guys, in my inner corner, I'm gonna go in with the hotter pink shade, which is called Pest. Pesto Wussy. I don't know what it says. I ain't trying to get demonetized. Not today, Jeffrey. So for this, I'm going to pick up that original brush that I started out with, and I'm just going to add back some of the color that got blended away as I was applying that lavender shade. All right, so going in with Confetti Sky once again, I'm going to take this under my eye and smoke it out. Then we're going to start experimenting, friendos. We're going to go in with those beautiful eye gloss powders. Now, if you've never tried those eye gloss powders before, they're very interesting in how they work. You would think that they would be wet and that it would be something that you would need to dry down. It dries down in an instant. It's never really wet. It's slightly, and I mean very slightly creamy. And I love the friendos. On me, I don't get any sort of fallout. If you are someone with textured eyelids, you could always spray your face though, because for some reason, if I feel like if you have textured eyelids or wrinkly eyelids a lot of times like glitter just comes off so easily so if that's you try spraying it after putting it down that should help so i'm going to start out with this one right here if i feel like there's not enough color differential then what i'll do is i'll switch off and we'll do a different eye gloss powder but let's just see now you can definitely see this showing up okay friendos i did this mistake myself i was running my mouth to my sister I got some glitter down here. Again, I was the one who touched it. <laughs> it is my fault. So far, I think this looks so pretty. I feel like a little cotton candy princess. Jeffrey can be the queen. I'll be the cotton candy princess. Sister, darling, can you tell me when the dinner will be ready? Do you want to ride on the carriage? I am the cotton candy princess. This is who I am now. Okay, so let's do this blue on the bottom. She told me to do it, and I just basically live to do whatever she says, so. Okay, so this is looking kind of cray right now, ain't gonna lie. But I know when I put on eyeliner, it's all gonna come together. It's gonna be really pretty. Okay, so why don't I go do that right now? And just like that, friendos, lighter and lashes are on. This look is coming together. I'm going to put on some bronzer from Hourglass to finish things off. And I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for my lipstick today. Gonna go in with some P. Louise lip liner in the shade Achievements. 
So in Jeffree Star's liquid lipstick formula, I'm going in with the shade Rose Matter. This one is very pink. Maybe it's a little bit too dark. I think you're right, Polywog. My sister said I should go in with skin tight. Let's try that. Maybe we'll mix the two. This one's way too. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Don't worry, Jeffrey. I won't let her hurt you anymore. All right, y'all. So that's our look today. My thoughts on these products. The liquid blush was definitely impressive. Look at this pigmentation. That's insane. It was from two little dots. It also did not mess up my foundation underneath. So that is a big plus to this product. The eye gloss powders also did not disappoint. Aren't they pretty, you guys? I can't stop looking at this in my mirror. I was definitely impressed with most of the shades that I tried out in the Cotton Candy Queen palette. That one shade with the micro glitter behaved exactly like most matte shades with a micro glitter behave. It definitely will drop that glitter out on your face if you don't spray that brush. So I can still see a little bit down here from that first initial impression. That's not going to stop me from really enjoying this palette. My next video to go up on my channel will also be featuring some of the items from this collection. Let me know what you want me to focus on more. Do you want to see more for the palette? Do you want to see more for the eye glosses? I'm always happy to chat it up with you guys in the comment section down below. And if you did have a good time here today, if you felt like you got some relevant information, please don't hesitate. Give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not done so already. Because if not, we'll both have to live in the sorrow of never knowing what could have been. <laughs> Alright guys, have a marvelous day. Bye.